For most of the 150 years of its history, the People's Friend has given lucky readers a tea caddy as a reward for having a letter printed on the letters page in the magazine. This goes back way to the beginnings of the magazine and one of the first ever tea caddies was this lovely little square box. Over the years from early on readers have had to write in to win a tea caddy and some of the letters have been superb, some have been terribly sad but one stands out in our minds, it's my favourite, it's from 1929 now. It was from a gentleman who wrote in and said, Dear Editor, he said, some years ago I was assisting a professor of botany. We were out in the Congo, deepest Africa, he said. Now this professor was a botanist and he wasn't there to shoot game. He was quite insistent we were not there on safari. So he insisted we were only to carry light guns, little shotguns. So he was more interested in collecting the flora and the fauna. Well, one day I thought I'd go into the bush to look for something to shoot for the pot so we could at least eat that night. So off I went deep into it, the, the bush. And as I'm walking, suddenly behind me, in, I'm in a clearing and then came a crash. And from behind me, appeared this enormous male rhinoceros. Well, what could I do? I was only given a little pot gun. There was no way that was going to defend me against such a big animal. All I could think of to do was run. So I began to run, but he chased after me. Well, I remembered rhinoceros, he's not very agile. He can't move from left to right. So I began to duck. I weave this way, I weave that way. But still he came on and I was tiring. I managed to pull ahead and I thought I was going to run away, I was going to be okay. And suddenly, bang, I fell over something in the grass that went chink and I fell my length. And I thought, my, day, my days are done, I'm a goner. But then from behind a tree came a little Frenchman in a pith helmet with a big elephant gun and he shot the rhinoceros, saved my life. Well, later that night, I went back into that clearing because I was curious to know what nearly cost me my life. And I took some bearers with me and there on the ground, half buried, was a little tin squashed out of shape, very rusty. And you could just make out on the side the words, a present from the peoples. How did it get there? I have never found the answer to the mystery, he said. But here at the friend, we thought that was definitely worth a tea caddy. So it's our favourite story. That is my favourite tea caddy story of all time. But readers still compete to win a tea caddy. This beautiful pewter one was the gift, um, the tea caddy gift around the 1930s and 1940s. Um, it's beautifully made and still shiny and lovely today. We don't do those anymore. This has been the more recent tea caddy. Um, again, much prized. People compete fiercely to win one of these because you can't buy them in the shops. I do know of one lady who's won 12 and she's still going strong, so I don't know what her final tally will be. Um, maybe somebody has won more than 12. That would be interesting to know. But for our 150th anniversary, we have made a special tea caddy a collector's edition tea caddy with our lovely 150th logo on it, which you can buy. So now anybody that's a fan of the People's Friend can have a People's Friend tea caddy. It's available from our shop online. It costs £11 and it has beautiful insert and is full.